Hey guys, if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for a link to my Amazon store where I've compiled some of the very best knives and gear. There's a whole bunch of different categories, including some of my own personal recommendations. There's something down here for everybody, so make sure you take a look. Thanks. What's going on YouTube Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. This package was sent to me by somebody who, um, I would guess most of you are very familiar with, and that's Jim Skelton. Um, I had watched one of his recent uploads and then found uh, the same, the picture of the same knife that he was talking about on his YouTube channel on Instagram, and I liked it. And I think I said something like, that's, that's really cool. And he messaged me and he said, hey, do you want to take a look at it? Um, I think that's how that went. And I was like, well, yeah, absolutely. Um, he and I had talked a while back when I reviewed um, his Hellraiser V2. So we had already kind of conversed a little bit, but I was still very, you know, happy to uh, to be offered a look at this knife because this is really, really cool. And it's a, it's something that we wouldn't normally have taken a look at otherwise. So because we do not uh, have a dedicated unboxing knife yet, we'll be using my customized PM2. No, it's not the M4 version. It's just a uh, S30V version with some jade scales. Let's go ahead and get into this. Be real careful uh, because I do not want to cut anything other than the packaging itself. I'm really excited to take a look at this. This is a, it's it's very unique in terms of the profile and blade. Um, here we go. There is the package there. Interesting package. I've never seen packaging like that for a knife, but hey, it works. It's cool. It's a little case. Open her up here, and oh, it's big. All right, awesome. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Look at the carbon fiber on that. Oh my goodness, that is wild. Hold on, let me let me wipe this down just a little bit. Oh, that is just wonderful. Take a look at that blue mixed in there. Look at how this changes with light you see how it kind of dances around like that and those uh those notes of blue amidst the grays and blacks that is wild okay i get it you're like that's interesting but can we see the blade whoops whoops i missed the flip oh <laughs> so i'm gonna venture to, i mean if you're like me you've never seen a ratio like this of blade to handle and i'm not necessarily talking about length i'm talking about I suppose the rise and the shape of the blade to, I mean, I, I mean, I, I knew that the blade was going to be big, but I still, I gotta be honest. Yeah. I was really shocked at how much blade seemed to materialize out of that handle. And because of, I mean, it's something that I suppose I should have thought about. Well, okay. First off the weight and mass of the blade certainly helps with the fall shut action. I mean, but on top of that, what's helping with it is it's just, it's clearly beautifully made, but uh, also the detent strength and the shape of the flipper tab really make it want to come flying out of there. Um, so that's cool. And there's some serious recoil. Can you see that? <laughs> like my whole end is like, Gah! oh man, that is really cool. Wonderful. Um, yeah. Anybody who's wondering, does that feel like a natural place to put your thumb? Yes, it does. Um, on top of that, we have this beautiful sort of black tumbled finish contrasting ni nicely with um, essentially this, well, it's an inlay. Uh, it's a slightly contoured, I guess we're gonna call that marble carbon fiber with some blue in there, inlay um, that is being shadow boxed by the titanium. Wow, that is very, very beautiful. Um, oh, and what's neat about that is, it's, I mean, it's a full size, what, what we would normally call a frame lock, I guess, but because of the nature of the, inlay does it make it i don't know well there go my pipes again signaling uh, my need to end this unboxing it i i want to sit here and analyze this in depth but we'll save that for the review um thanks again jim skelton for letting me take a look at this if you guys have never checked out jim skelton's channel i'm gonna imagine almost everybody who watches my channel has but if you've not checked out jim skelton uh he's been around much longer and the knives that he has on his channel tend to be a lot crazier a lot more exotic there's a lot more custom stuff I learned a lot from Jim Skelton's channel, so I'm going to definitely um, push those of you who have never checked him out. Uh, go check out Jim Skelton. 
on YouTube and also check out Skeleton Blade Works on Instagram because he makes his own custom knives now. Anyways, guys, that's going to be pretty much it. So like I said at the beginning of the video, check out the links in the description. There's a whole bunch of awesome stuff. If you enjoyed this short little unboxing, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on this Metal Complex logo right here and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.